Welcome back once again to Coronado High School. Mustang Jim, David Thetford, Randy Dean. Coronado Mustangs hosting the Lubbock Kyle Westerners here in the boys' ball game. And, uh, Coach, it's a really important game. Lubbock Kyle struggled this year, but uh, Coronado right in the thick of this playoff run trying to get a good seed. It's one of those games Coronado cannot afford to let their guard down. They're in the hunt for a playoff spot. Got to stay on the heels of Monterey and Abilene Cooper. Lubbock High, they need a win, want to win bad to just justify the hard work that they put in every single day. Well, and uh, I know Coach Reggie Gibbs, he, he is uh, he's pushing these young men, trying to get the very best out of them. And uh, we did the game the other night, and I was really impressed with the effort that they played with in that ball game. Yeah, Coach Gibbs will not allow anything less than 100%. Right. I promise you that. And it may not always result in the you know prettiest basketball, but it'll be hard. I mean, they'll be playing yeah. with great effort. And Coach Ernest Mims, he's really got his team playing. Uh, that Monterey game the other night, Coach, was about as fast and intense a ball game as you'd ever want to see. These two teams, uh, they got after each other, and Coronado was right there. Right in the in the mix of it with Monterey. Very athletic team. Uh, love the pressure out on defense so they can get out and run on offense. I think the big key is how they shoot the ball from the perimeter. And when they're on from the perimeter, they are a tough, tough group. Looks like we're going to uh, have the national anthem once something. again. Is that the case? Looks like it. Let me Do we want to stay you. here? We'll take, take it all the way, lay it up in We'll take a quick break. Be right back. This is a production by the students and staff at Lubbock ISD TV. Swing and a miss. Rocky This has been a production of the students and staff. Welcome back to Coronado. Great rendition of the national anthem. Three Coronado students. I'm guessing they're inquired. Sure sounded like it. <laughs> Not just three. They picked out of the stands. If they weren't. They should be. <laughs> yeah, they sure should be because they were really, really good. Let's take a look at the starting lineups for these two teams. First off with the visitors here for Lubbock High. Reggie Gibbs, the head coach in his second year. They're going to start Jacob Aguirre. He's number 20. And number 22 is Peyton Reed. We actually highlighted him a little bit. Number 12 is Derek Torres. He's a six foot sophomore. 15 is uh, Vasquez. Chris Vasquez, a 6'3 senior. And Sid Bakta is the uh, big postman, 6'6, and a senior. And he is uh, a good player. Torres, a sophomore. Vasquez, a senior. Aguirre, a sophomore. Coleman, excuse me, Reed, a freshman. He's a freshman. And uh, we highlighted him, and he is really something Coach Gibbs really proud of what the way he's playing. 3-21 of the year, 0-5 in uh, district play. Collie, Fitzhugh, Flemons, and Miller. 
are the assistants. Now for the Coronado Mustangs, the home team here tonight. They'll start number three, Grant Gilmore, 6'1", junior. Number 10, 5'11", senior, Ty Green, outstanding athlete. Number 11, 6'4", senior, Christian Thompson. Number 12 is uh, six foot junior, Taylor Stamps. And number 15 is 6'6", six, six senior, leads the team in scoring and rebounding, Tyler Williams. How come they don't do them in numerical order? There's the uh, matchup we highlighted. You can see Reed there, Coach Peyton Reed with the, almost 12 points a game. But uh, look at the numbers for Tyler Williams, outstanding player. But this Pat, this Reed, Peyton Reed is really a great player for a freshman. I was very impressed with the way he competed the other night at Monterey as a freshman. We did that game on the radio and uh, very impressed with what he did there. Tyler Williams is an outstanding player inside out, yep. really can do it all on the floor. Very, very good high school basketball player. I think we're set to go. I don't know what they feel. They were looking up in the stands. I didn't know what for. Surely somebody's not already in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Hadn't even got it started yet. We do have to get our shirt tails in. So what's wrong with America? We got too many people with their shirt tail out. Uh, let's see if uh, Coronado comes out and runs a set play to try to get a dunk. They like to do that to really establish momentum early. And let's see uh, Lubakai comes out in a 2-3 zone. He did come in the zone. Moving around quickly down on the baseline. Leave it back uh, to Green. He'll pass it across. Three balls up by Gilmore. No good. Rebound to Lubakai. Good luck inside out short corner to Williams into the low post area to uh, green and back to the backside. Gilmore had a great look at it. There's a Gary with the basketball knocked away stolen away by stamps ahead to Ty Green. He'll slam it through. Wasn't a set play but they got the dunk. And Coronado breaks on top. Outside to Torres. He played well the other night against Monterey. Inside they go to Reed. He'll give it to Bakta. Bakta at 6'6". He'll be the biggest player on the floor. There's Peyton Reed. Shoot a three. Knock it down. And Tyler Williams was coming out to contest. And now they throw it long. And Tyler Williams was all by himself. That was fast. He actually, I thought, was going to wait on him to catch up with him. Doors to Bakta. Over to Peyton Reed. Threw it out of bounds. Bakta wasn't looking, and uh, Gary tried to get him the ball. A little unforced turnover there, and uh, I think Torres actually missed a cutter. Chris Vosca is down on the low box. He had rubbed off a screen wide open. Stamp splits the defense. They get it inside to Ty Green. Didn't come down with it. Missed the shot. Bakta has the rebound. Now foul is going to be called on Tyler Williams. If you get a feeling that uh, Coronado really wants to pressure early in this ball game, try to get control of it right off the bat. And, uh, that's a great plan, but sometimes the risk in that is that you could accumulate some fouls early right there. Tyler Williams, a little too much bumping and grinding up the floor, picks up his first personal foul. Ball knocked away. Cam Manahan, who just checked in the ball game, he's number five. Normally starts, didn't tonight. Christian Thompson got the start. Manahan averaging almost 10 points a game. Ty Green a little over 10. Aggie, Aggie, Aggie. 16 and a half for Tyler Williams. Yeah. Gary knocked away, stolen away. Ty Green going down the floor. He'll leave it up for Tyler Williams. Can't get the slam. Okembe's in the game too. There's a little toss up in the air by Gilmore. No good. Coronado turning on the pressure underneath too high, too long that time. 
almost got her camera guy. Appreciate Lubbock ISD TV 12 who uh, mans this and puts this together to broadcast on Fox 34 News Now. They'll rebroadcast these games on Lubbock ISD TV 12 in the next couple of days. Good contest that time from Bakko. Ty Green back the other way with Peyton. Going to get it ahead to Bakko. Blocked from behind by Ty Green. Ahead to Tyler Williams. He'll take it in. Shoot it up no good. Cam Manahan follow won't go. Tyler Williams stays with it, gets the two. Good job attacking the offensive boards, first by Manahan and then Green, or Tyler Williams getting the finish right there. Three point blank shots on that uh, fast break opportunity. Peyton Reed gonna be double teamed, gets it down to the baseline. There's a shot, up and good by Chris Vasquez. Well, the guy's gonna be able to, gonna have to be able to do that consistently get the ball out of pressure and then be able to make an open shot when it presents itself. Good job there by Botskez. There's a three by Manahan, long off the back of the rim, but Gary gets it. For Lubbock High, left-hand side, there's Torres for three. He'll hit it. Tyler Williams in the lane, runners up, in and out, no good. Bot uh, had it, knocked out of his hands, gonna be Lubbock High basketball. Time out on the floor. We'll take it to eight to six. Lubbockai on top of Coronado here in the first quarter on Fox 34 News Now. Eight to six the score. Lubbockai with a couple of three-point baskets, Coach. Yeah, made a couple of uh, open shots there. Uh, the last two opportunities that they've had. And, that's put them up here early in the game. But boy, I tell you, Coronado is really out with great defensive effort. Abraham Ragland, number 25, checks in the ball game for the Mustangs. Derek Kimbe, I mentioned him being in there. A turnaround shot up, no good. Rebound going to be off of Ragland and out of bounds and stay with Lubakai. That's one of those shots you're talking about making, Coach. Chris Vasquez just made it a moment ago, missed that one. Reed with Tyler Williams covering out on him. We'll get by, Reed will trail him and knock it up against the wall. The senior against the freshman. A little mismatch, 6'6 six, six against 5'8, and it turned out about <laughs> like you would expect. Lob over the top, Bakta can't get it, but there is Torres to run it down. Kimbe with great defense, steals the ball. Going down the floor, he'll spin around, miss the shot. Right there is Williams to follow it up. What a finish right there, the left hand tip in. Vasquez shooting it up, no good. Bakta can't get it, gonna be out of bounds to Coronado. Tied at eight. Nice I can't shot. believe Kimbe did, didn't he get fouled? Uh, yeah, I think so. <laughs> uh, did a good job coming back down here and putting body on Bakta to Kind of hold him off and make him knock it out of bounds. Kimbe's the guy that uh, he's one of those grinders. Boy, he'll play hard and bang with you. Ball knocked away. And Gary trying to save it. Can't get there in time. There you see Reggie Gibbs. Raglan. Goes with that sign over there. It says commitment, positive energy, toughness, and bad passes. <laughs> oh, discipline. <That's laughs> it probably wasn't a bad pass as a teammate went uh, the other direction. Uh, but boy, Coronado's pressuring up hard. There's Torres turn around from about 10. Can't get it to go. Manahan the rebound to Coronado. All the way up the floor, Ty Green spinning around, gets it to Manahan, little floater, rolls off. Botka in there battling, can't get it. Tyler Williams has it, blocked by Botka, stays with it, gets the two. Well, Williams is a player. He's got eight points in the quarter. A good battle in there with Botka and uh, Williams. Botka just uh, couldn't explode up that last time, and Williams finished it off. There's Williams out there bothering him on that pressure. 
Good look to Vasquez. He'll step out. Ooh, got contested by Williams. There's Botka can't follow it. There's a Vasquez. Great hustle. Great hustle by Chris Vasquez. Nice job starting out there. First board by Botka. He didn't get it finished, but that allowed Torres in to come finish it off. And Vasquez come finish it off. Abraham Raglan leaves it for Manahan right in front of the basket. Nice pass to Manahan. Good baseline drive against the zone right there by Raglan and uh, finding the cutting Manahan right in the middle of the lane. Outside, there's uh, Vasquez again, in and out this time on the uh, three point shot. Now the ball knocked out of bounds by Torres. And stay with Coronado. In for Lubakai, Bryson Covado. He'll replace Derek Torres. Also in is uh, all the other guys. They stayed in. <laughs> the other four. Taylor Stamps is in the ball game, number 12. Ty Green also in for uh, Coronado is Russell Davis, number 22. There's a three. Taylor Stamps knocked it down. Set play against his own, running stamps off a couple of screens out on the baseline, gets to the corner, and a good seal over there on the backside, low post. Gets him open for that three pointer. 15 10 now. Under a minute to go. Kick out. Ty Green reached in, kind of got him off stride, and then Vasquez threw it away. Vasquez just a little out of control. Peyton Reed. Uh, thought he needed to slide down to the corner. I think uh, here you're going to see that baseline runner by Stamps. Pretty shot right there. Nothing but the bottom of the net. Keith Ramirez checks in. Number 24, six-foot senior for Love Kai. First time in the ball game for Ramirez. Doris came back in, too. There's great contest by Bakta. He gets the contest and gets the rebound. <laughs> We're kind of letting it go tonight. Better be strong with the basketball. Russell Davis, a 6'5 senior for Coronado, number 22. They get it in the middle, leave it uh, behind for Williams. He'll kick out Stamps. Good run out that time by Lubakai. Here's Gilmore for three, no good. Rebound pulled down by Covado. Knocked away by Williams. He'll spin around, put it up and in. He's been a one-man wrecking for already 10 points in the quarter. He's hung around back there, one-man press, basically got his hand in the passing lane, tipped it to himself. There's the horn, end of one, 17 to 10. Seven-point lead for the Coronado Mustangs over the Lubbock Cow Westerners. Here on Fox 34 News Now. Second quarter coming up. Lubbock I can figure out some way to slow down Tyler Williams. He had 10 points coaching. He, he, that wasn't just offense. He played great defense, rebounded. What a quarter for Tyler Williams. Well, right now the defensive Coronado's really got uh, Lubbock I sped up. Uh, offensively, if they can somehow find a way to kind of reach a comfort zone. It's hard to do against the pressure man that Coronado plays, but you got to try to find a little comfort zone, play through a little contact, and uh, hopefully find some buckets, but uh, Good not pass. easy to do. Inside to Torres from Vasquez, he'll put it up in the end. Good execution, running old flex offense right there. Got Torres running off that baseline screen. He's able to get it to go in. Taylor Stamps in the corner, three ball off the back of the rim. Bakta, no, that's Vasquez up with it. Pulled out of there, now three on one. They get it to Bakta, he'll lay it up and in. Peyton Reed on the assist. Real nice job by Reed right there, drawing the defense and then leaving it to the big man. Perfect pass in the open floor. Bakta gets it to go in. Good start for the quarter by the Westerners. Three-point lead now for Coronado. Two quick baskets by Lubakai. Bounce inside, knocked away by Vasquez. Cam Manahan coming back in for Coronado. He'll replace Russell Davis. Ty Green throws it off of uh, Lovakai player, and then he steps out of bounds. 
Threw it off of Torres. But he didn't get in bounds far enough. Now stolen away. Good reach in by Gilmore. And a foul going to be called. Peyton Reed, the freshman, gives up the steal, and Nick commits the foul. Yeah, quick hands right there by Gilmore. Reach in, poke it away. Did not foul. Uh, it's a great job. We're going to see it right here. It's after he pokes it away, and then nice job. Strong finish right there at the rim. Chance to get the old-fashioned three-point play. And he did. Lubakai up the floor to Peyton Reed. Six-point lead now for Coronado. Almost stolen by Manahan. Bosque is able to maintain control. Over to Torres. Now to Reed. He'll drive by. Blocked by Stamps inside. Bosque tried to control it. Out of bounds. Back to Coronado. Reed brought that ball back over to his right hand to try to shoot that layup and really brought it right back into Stamps where he could get a hand on it. Blocked shot. And then out of bounds off of the Westerners. Christian Thompson back in for Coronado. He's number 11, 6'4", senior. Into Tyler Williams. He'll square up, shoot it up, no good. Rebound, Vasquez. Love the Kyle. Trying to throw it over the top. Williams had it. Vasquez took it away. Now it's tipped away, out to Torres, down to Bakta. Ken Putter going to be short. Manahan inside, blocked by Bakta. Going to be last touch by Lubakai. Back on that other end, Tyler Williams, I think, had an effect on Bakta. Made him shoot a little extra arch on it, thinking he's coming out to block the shot. Left it just a little bit short, and Coronado back out and running again. Manahan attacking the basket. 20 to 14, six point lead for the Mustangs. Manahan drops it down to Williams, tries to give it back to him. Botka got a hand on it, hit the basket support. Good hands right there by Botka. Good idea by uh, Coronado down there on this end. Throw it to the short corner and then cut right in behind that pass. And Manahan certainly had a lane, the path to the basket. Botka getting a hand on it to knock it out of bounds. And a hand to trigger. He gets it out to Surreal Garrett, who just came into the ball game. Shoots up three, no good. Inside to Manahan, blocked by Botka. Out of bounds, still off of Lubakai. Sid Botka is doing a good job defensively, contesting shots. Spinning around, good move. Got it to the left hand in the glass. 12 points now. Real nice job keeping his pivot foot down, eventually getting a step through to the rim and able to keep Bakta away from him with that inside hand. There's Bakta, he's wide open. Drops it underneath the Tories. He got contested, couldn't get the shot to go. Long pass up to Manahan, run down from behind by Vasquez. Taken away by Lubakai. Reed has it. Now Gary with the basketball. Well, knocked out of bounds by Gilbert. It'll stay with Lubakai. Second quarter, 450 left. Eight-point lead for the Mustangs. Vasquez is going to catch and shoot. Off the rim, no good. Bakta fighting for the rebound. Got a hand on it. Then Torres tried to put it back in. Going to be no good. Manahan going to be called for the foul. That's two team fouls on Coronado. Lovacai with one team foul with about four and a half minutes to go here in the first half. It's a clean game. <laughs> 
Torres puts it up and in. See this move right here by Tyler Williams. Uh, he just spins back, keeps his pivot foot down, and a nice finish with the left hand. Reed's going to get a breather for Love Kite. Adrian Boya comes in, a 5'8 senior. Number 10. Both free throws good by Derek Torres. He's got seven points. Gilbert dribbles in, loses control, gets it back. Now blocked on the offside. And a foul on a reach over. It's going to be on uh, Grant Gilmore. Gary dribbling the ball up the floor. You better be carry, careful with it. They'll take it away. Just like that, Kimbe comes up with the steal. Real nice job by Kimbe fighting over the top side of that low post player. Manahan for three, no good. Tyler Williams rebound, blocked by Botka. He'll go back again with the left hand and put it in. Now foul going to be called on Surreal Garrett. He blocked against Jordan Aguirre. Trying to cover Jordan Aguirre. Bakta, good look to him. He'll put it up off till it's too strong off the back of the rim. Well, I was doing a good job rotating the backside on that screen and roll to get there and keep Bakta from getting all the way to the rim. Tyler Williams from the corner, no good. Gilmore with the rebound and drive, and he's fouled going in by Torres. Good job crashing the boards on the backside by Gilmore. It's that offensive board forcing the foul on uh, Torres. Free throw up and good by Grant Gilmore. Made the second as well. Torres dribbling up. Side three ball up and uh, no good that time by Adrian Boya. Taken back by Lubakai. Bakta goes across the lane and lost it. Vasquez couldn't handle it. Ahead to Garrett. He's going to back out and shoot a three. No good. Long rebound to Kimbe. Drives inside, throws it over the top and out of bounds. Twenty-six, sixteen. Coronado with the lead. They kind of go into these scoring droughts. Moya with it. Over to a Gary. Good move by Gary that time. Kick out. Torres corner three. Air ball long. Gilbert. Excuse me, Gilmore inside. He's going to be fouled going in. To be on Moya. Well, not to continue to push in the open floor. I mean, they just don't give you any time to get back. And uh, really need to probably be rotating a couple of two or three guys back. Gilmore earning his fifth and sixth trip to the free throw line. See here why he got there on that last play. Good step through trying to get to the reverse layup. Fouled on the way up by Moya. Abraham Ragland checks in, number 25. He's a sophomore, 6'1 player. Gilmore looks pretty confident at that free throw line. Pressure in the backcourt. They get it ahead to Torres. He'll get it up to Bakta. And he'll wait for the everybody to get down the floor. Good high screen. Manahan reaching in. Got a hand on it, but couldn't come up with it. There's Bakta inside, puts it in. 
over Gilmore. And Gilmore gonna be whistled for the foul, his second. The thing that's different about that is they came off of the ball screen and threw a reversal pass and then went inside. Instead of trying to go straight to Botka on the roll, uh, he came off of that ball reversal and he had the mismatch inside. Uh, got Gilmore pinned down there on his back and uh, did a nice job catching it, keeping it high and using his left hand to finish. Very smooth move and a good looking shot by Sid Bakta. Misses the free throw. High post to go to Williams. He'll turn around and put it in. There's no answer for Lubakai inside against Tyler Williams. He has scored boards and that time just turn around jump shot. There's a into uh, get, uh, Keith Ramirez couldn't get it to go. A good look though. Good whip pass into Manahan. Contested by Bakta. Comes back again and can't get it, but uh, going to be a foul call, and that'll send Manahan to the line. Ball set up by a great pass by Green. Kind of a no-look pass over his shoulder. Perfectly hits Manahan. He wasn't able to get the uh, first shot to go down. Stayed with it and earned this trip to the free throw line. Missed the first one. Manahan, about 10 points of all game. He's got two so far in this game. 128 to go in the first half. 30 to 18, Coronado missed them both. Bakta with the rebound. A lot of pressure in the backcourt. Throws it off of Gilmore and out of bounds. Reed wants somebody to step in the middle. He was telling Vasquez. Vasquez says, I was busy down here. <laughs> My idea was go up the sideline. So Coach Gibbs is going to call a timeout and talk it over. Going to talk it over. And, uh, you know, Reggie, uh, second year now at uh, Lubbock High as the head basketball coach, had a great career here at uh, Estacado. He was, you know, you'd have to say he's one of the all-time greats that played at Estacado ever. He really was a tremendous player. Yeah, that's uh, what I've always heard about him, and I know he's bounced around the coaching world at several different places, had success at several different places. He came to Lubbock High from his uh, previous stop at Caprock, where they were a playoff team several times up there in the Amarillo area. So yeah. uh, he's a guy, he's been around the game an awful lot, knows a lot about it, and you know, he's trying to, you know, form his team into something that's competitive in a very tough district. Of course, Ernest Mims, a uh, Amarillo guy, Paladuro. And he's proud to be the Coronado coach in his fourth year now with the uh, Mustangs. Into Bakta. He almost, he gets pushed down almost. Now blocking fouls going to be called on Ty Green. I think there was a push by Ty Green, and then Bakta ran over Green. And then Bakta fell down after he ran over Green. They called it on Green. So Bakta gets the two. He don't have a chance at the line. I think that. He called it on 34 in white, but we don't oh, have a, we don't have a 34 in white, so I'm not real sure. Not real sure. Ten. Ten. There we go. Yeah, I always get those confused. Yeah, they look a lot alike. Yeah. Well, and nothing against these are good officials that we have here tonight, but I think that that was three missed. To him. Ty Green was down on the ground. He was down on the floor. He, but Green's the one that ran over and ran into Bakta. Then Bakta ran over him. Free throw's no good. 
That is uh, probably being exactly what it would have been. Ty Green with a foul. Bakhti at the line, he, but he ended up getting the two. Here's, a, here's Ragland from the left corner. He puts in a three. Nice inside out action right there. Tyler Williams pivoting up there in the high post area. Turns and finds Ragland out in the backside corner. But Gary dribbling. Ty Green with his hands behind his back. Going up the floor with him. Is the score right? I think there's a good move by Tyler Williams. I think that 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, I think Lubbock High is 20, not 25. Coronado coaches were saying something. 20 point. Do you have Lubbock High with 20 points? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Yep, 20. Well, there's 25 up on the board. Gibbs, Lubbockai cheerleaders. I've got Coronado with 35. About seven and eight, 15, 18. Yep, 35. Should be 35, 20. It's a little different than 32, 25. I don't really know what the. I don't know where it, where it got messed up. It's 32-20. 35-20. 35-20, Coronado. That's the score. 35-20, Coronado. 20. Unless you gave me five points for a shot of it. Listen, we got everybody involved, I know that. Coach Mims is over here now. I don't know how it got messed up that <laughs> like that. But it did. Sometimes these things happen. <laughs> All right, let's look at the standings. That'll give us something to do. Emma says we can look at them, so we will. There's Monterey on top of the district at 5-0. Oh. They beat Coronado in their last time out over at uh, Monterey's new box. And then Abilene Cooper, you know that win where they came back in the fourth quarter to beat Coronado, Coach? Those two records would be flipped right now if Coronado had hung on. They led almost the whole game. Tyler Williams fouled out in the fourth quarter, only had eight points. Yeah, you know, and you kind of expect, uh, you know, the second half that Cooper coming here, yeah, no guarantee, but you hope that you get the opposite result. And uh, and Coronado having Monterey here at their home gym for a you know a big big game right there. And I believe I believe Monterey has to go down to Abilene this second round. I think that sounds a, that's a good story. So let's stay with that. Level count with the basketball. Peyton Reed driving inside. He's really a talented little player. Walk that time. He's only a freshman. He'll grow some. Very, you know, that's what Coach Gibbs. I had a, went by his office and talked to Coach Gibbs. He goes, he, this kid is so heady. He just understands how to play the game. Good turnaround shot there by Tyler Williams. Can't get it. Rebound underneath by Torres. The head to Bakta, but there's going to be the horn. That's halftime. 35 to 20 is the score. The Coronado Mustangs lead the Lubbock Kyle Westerners here in the big district 4-5A game. We'll have highlights and more at halftime, so stay tuned. You're watching Lubbock High High School Basketball on, the, on Fox 34 News Now. Welcome back to Coronado High School. Halftime 35-20. Coronado with the lead on Lubbock High. They did have future Mustangs night here, both the girls and the boys. 
And uh, coach, a lot of players lined up across the floor here. That's always good to see. Yeah, it is. Uh, there are a lot of kids out there playing. That's seventh, eight, seventh grade A team, seventh grade B team, eighth grade A, eighth grade B. Irons McKenzie and a few from Willie McCool, and uh, yep. that's, that's good. Speaks well for what Coronado has coming in the future. I don't know if we have highlights, but if we do, let's look at them now. Good. Well, that's good. There, you, that's not those. Those aren't the highlights. We'll get to those now. You'll take a look here. They started out, and that that was the very first basket of the ball game. Ty Green with the slam. Here's Peyton Reed. We talked about him. Big three. Yeah. Here, nice job right there by Vasquez uh, stepping out and hitting that jump shot. Big block by Tyler Williams. Stamps with that three. He's a good shooter. Bob uh, inside, 6'6 player, biggest guy on the floor. But this is the guy that's been the, had the big night. Tyler Williams has been unstoppable. He has 18 points at halftime. There's two more on a soft little turnaround jump shot. Lubakai's had no answer to uh, try to play against them on the inside. So if your coach Reggie Gibbs, and I guess they're coming back, they're not back yet, and we're down to 20 seconds, and it was a long halftime as well. And I, I do think they're coming back. You get a look there. There they come. There come the love of Kyle Wesson. You get a good look at the other end of the floor to Ernest Mims. Here come the Westerners. I like their effort, though, Coach. I really do. Both, they both played teams. hard. They really have. They played hard. The game's been a, a rough game, and I think that's kind of played into the athleticism of Coronado uh, to a large extent. Very athletic team over here at uh, Coronado this year. And, uh, you know, just the bumping and everything that's gone on, uh, referees have let them play. And uh, both ways, both ways. Hadn't been any, uh, you know, any advantage with either one of them, but... Uh, I think it has kind of been fueled by the athleticism of Coronado. Here's Cam Manahan for three. In and out, no good. Rebound, Kimbe had it. Couldn't hang on. Now it's loose. Tyler Williams picks it up for the Mustangs. Ty Green, left-hand side. Gilmore for three. Won't go. There's Tyler Williams. Gets an easy rebound and put back. Kimbe coming over there on the backside did just enough. Got a hand on it, tipped it, fell right in the lap of Tyler Williams. He won't get an easier one than that for quite a while. 17-point game. Shot clock just expired. Inside Bakta, good pass. Kick back out, Torres. He'll go baseline, try to go back inside again. This time to Vasquez, it's loose, and Coronado has it. All the way to the basket, Cam Manahan with the left hand puts it up and in. Speed and leaping ability and uh, just the skill of being able to get it in the hole. Uh, these guys from Coronado get out in the open floor. They are a handful. 39-20, Coach Reggie Gibbs going to call timeout. Going to be a full timeout. We will take it to 19-point lead for the Mustangs over the Westerners here on Fox 34 News Now. Quick time out here, Coach, and you've been there too. You, Reggie, just said it felt like you needed to get a quick one. Yeah, you know, sure don't want the game or do everything you can to keep the game from getting completely away from you here early. Uh, Coronado's gotten two very easy baskets in the first minute of play, and so time out, regroup, and hopefully come up with a good solid set here. Manahan reach in, foul going to be called. Second on Manahan. Foul. It's going to be Manahan again. It is. Three fouls now on Cam Manahan. Well, he had his hands up, but uh, this body contact and impeding the, the uh, offense have been able to go where they want to go. That's a call as an opposing coach. You just, you got to have it, you know. You got to have it. And like I say, enough body contact there to, to bring the whistle. Taylor Stamps comes in for Manahan, number 12. Oh, good look. That was a really good idea. Just a little behind him on the pass. 
That yeah, was good vision right there by Peyton Reed, the freshman, seeing his teammate over on the backside, Vasquez, and, and a quick little pass right there. Not quite a touch pass, but close to it. And just, uh, like you said, just slightly behind Vasquez. Couldn't handle it down there. This has been Love a guy, man to man defense. Tyler Williams, three ball won't go. Rebound, Vasquez. It's a tough rebound right there by Vasquez. There's Reed, a little runner off the glass, no good. Tipped out, Ty Green off his hand, but it goes to Gilmore. Now Gilmore is fouled. Derek Torres is going to be called there on the reach in. Gilmore tried to go a little crossover, dribble back into the middle of the lane, and Torres reaches in. A little contact up around the head area, or at least Gilmore made it, made it look like it was. Now Dor Torres just steals it and lays it over the rim. Nine points for Derek Torres. Derek Kimbe drops it down through the hands of Tyler Williams and out of bounds. A little high-low action right there. Kimbe to Williams down low, but nobody came out and covered Kimbe. Made a pretty tight passing lane there and trying to bounce pass down at the feet of Tyler Williams. Couldn't handle it. Reed to the... Down the lane, can't get it. There's Vasquez inside, blocked by Williams. And I think Kimbe has turned his ankle. And we've all, if you play much basketball, you've been there. That's the old saying, there's two kinds of basketball players. Those that have turned their ankles and those that are going to. <laughs> it hadn't happened yet. I got all the way to Tech before I turned mine. I, that high school never turned it. He probably wasn't playing hard enough. <laughs> but in college, I turned it a bunch. And it's one of those that makes you, like, it immediately sick at your stomach. Yep. And you're thinking, that really hurts. Yeah, if you get it good, well, really, don't you have just, it just shoots pain all the way up your leg. Oh, yeah. Nate Stone, that's the trainer out there, plus the uh, student trainers that are out there with uh, Kim Bay. Arnie Ryers over here, too, and of course at uh, Lubbock High. You got Anthony Peppers and Jeremy Hall. You know, it's kind of a big loss because Kim Bay's really kind of coming into his own, helping this team out for the Mustangs. One of those guys that does the, does the dirty work, defends, rebounds, tributes on the you know, a few points, but his uh, his contribution is his effort and uh, physicality. Gilmore up top. Shereel Garrett in the ball game now. 23, good pass inside to Gilmore. He put it up in the end. Thought he walked there, but yeah, I guess they traded the foul for the walk and didn't call anything. Well, that's fair. There's Gilmore again in front. He'll put it in, and he'll get the hoop and the harm on that one. Derek Torres with the foul. And Gilmore will have a chance at the three-point play. 43-22. Now 44. He's been deadly from the line. Six of six now. Bakta coming out. Keith Ramirez will come back in, number 24. Keith was hurt during football. He looks okay now. I don't even know how he gets hurt. As tough as he is. There he is underneath. Tried to just put it up quick off the glass, but no good. Reggie wanted him to come down and then go back up, I think. But, see, Reggie could jump real high. <laughs> Keith's not known for his jumping. Yeah, he tried to... He's going to shoot that all in one motion on the way up. Yeah. And rushed it just a little bit. There's Manahan. 
pushing up all the way down the lane, puts it up. And then we got a foul called, and Manahan is going to go to the line. Got the two, and he'll have the free throw coming. That was going to be on Peyton Reed, his second. Good strong finish right there by Manahan. Did a good job of just kind of letting things develop in front of him. And one last explosion from the three-point line to the rim. It's the old-fashioned three-point play. Zone defense again now for the Coronado Mustangs. Bakta underneath, knocked away. Good defense by Christian Thompson. Now they throw it back away. Torres with it. Peyton Reed going to shoot it up. No good. Rebound, Cyril Garrett. Manahan spinning, going to draw the foul again. This one's going to be on Chris Vas Vasquez. That's his first foul. Spinning right there back to his left hand. Forcing the contact, forcing the issue. McGarry goes out. Coming in for him will be Adrian Moya, number 10, a 5'8 senior. <laughs> Missed them both. Throws it to Moya. It's going to go to the backcourt and go back to Coronado. The length of Coronado right there. It's got Peyton Reed trapped over here on this one side. No place to go. Took away the ball reversal and uh, forced that errant pass back into the backcourt. So real Garrett dropped drop down. Got it underneath. The follow shot by Raglan. Real nice execution right there. Started with the ball screen and roll. Excellent pass by Surreal Garrett. And then a good follow from the backside by Abraham Raglan. Keith Ramirez. Throws it to the cheerleader. He'll go out. And Gary will come back in. Also in it for the first time for Love County, number 34, Tajay Whitfield, 6'4", junior. He looks taller than 6'4". Shot up, no good. Rebound, Manahan keeps it. He'll spin around, Whitfield blocks it. It's a real Garrett. He'll follow it up and in. Coronado just uh, sending five guys to the boards. No regard for Lubbock High being able to get out and run on them. And it pays off right there. Tip never finished by Surreal Garrett. Lubakai with uh, two points here in the quarter. There's Vasquez driving, puts it up, no good, fouled. He'll be going to the free throw line. It's going to be on Russell Davis, his first foul. Going to be number 21, Joshua Coleman. He'll replace Tajay Whitfield. In and out on both good looking shots, and neither one of them went. Garrett with a good move, lost control of the ball, picks it up right under the basket, and puts it in. Sometimes it just works out. Vasquez can't get it. Two minutes to go here in the third quarter. Now 
Coronado turns it over. Hubbard Cow did a good job getting the ball in a real good spot against his own defense. One of the best players, Vasquez gets the free throw line, wide open jump shot. Unable to get it to go in. Yep, Coronado gets it right back. All the way down the floor is Thompson. He'll get it back, top of the circle. Underneath, good give back. A shot is up, no good. Rebound underneath. It was a nice play, though, by Coronado. Just couldn't get pay it off. And it was. Excellent pass from the corner by Russell Davis. Now Lovacai turns it over. Coleman can't handle it. Tajay Whitfield going to come back in for Coleman, I would guess. Yes. Drop down to Stamps. He'll lay it up and in. Really nice play there. A lot of cutters from the back side to the ball side. And it was a good find, good read, leading Stamps right to the rim. Vasquez kick out to Reed. And Gary to Vasquez. He's open. Shoots it up. No good. Rebound. Whitfield kept it alive. Going to be blocked out of there. Or not a running. Now they tip it away from behind. Love a cow, three on two. Bounce it inside to Vasquez off his leg and out of bounds. Tough pass right there by Torres. I like what he was, was trying to do. There was just a small, small window right there to try to get it across the lane to Vasquez. Good try, but uh, just couldn't quite get it completed. Raglan, 25 seconds to go in the quarter. Christian Thompson with it, crossover, good move. Wrap around is loose, picked up by Lubakai. Ten seconds to go. I'm not sure Torres knows it, but Gary does. To Reed, he knows it, blocked. Thompson got a hand on it. Coronado has it. That'll take us to the end of the third, 55-22. Coronado with a big lead on Lubakai here on Fox 34 News Now. All right, coach, one quarter left. 33-point lead for Coronado. What do you do now? Well, you just want to focus on the execution. Coach Mims back in the 2-3 zone here, give them a chance to work on something they may need later on in the year. Vasquez shoots it up short. Rebound to Coronado. Again, Levakai gets the ball in a great position right there. Point blank range right at the front of the rim. Vasquez just having one of those nights. Tough. I'm not seeing the ball go through the through the net. Green underneath. Got too far under the basket, stepped on the baseline. He wanted a foul, I think. Coach Gibbs is going to call a 30-second timeout. We're going to stay here. 30-second timeout. The referee stretched it to full. No, the referee did stretch it to full. Do what? Yeah, we're staying here. So, we'll look at the fans. There's some kids right there. Got game one. Love a cheerleaders. Going out of cheerleaders, band. There's the band coach. It's always fun. They bring a lot of energy to a game. Yeah, it's always fun having a band in the gym. And Mr. Josh Shaw, band director at Coronado. I'm sure uh, Coach Mims and the Mustangs grateful that he got some of his crew out here tonight to play. And it adds a little extra atmosphere to to the, to the gym. Coronado already back out on the floor. You know, you just it's frustrating if you're Coach Gibbs and you just can't produce points. And, you know, you got to have scores. 
Yeah, I used to always say it's a hard game when you can't score. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> you know, you got to really play good defense. You draw lots of X's and lots of O's, but if it didn't go through the net, it, none of it really matters. And, you know, it, it's, it is. It's a tough game. Hayden Reed, corner three, up off the rim, no good. Bach to rebound, fouled. He'll get two shots. Tyler Williams going to be called for the foul. That's a good play Coach Gibbs drew up right there, getting one of his best players, Peyton Reed, young man out here in the corner with a little pin screen. Well, he and called uh, it on Gilmore. I think, yeah. I didn't see that. Bakta at the line. Shoots it up short. Bakta with six points in the game. He came in averaging a total of 18.3. Uh, Missed them both. Missed them both. 0 for 6 on the night for Sid Bakka. No, I didn't get the others. I missed two. No, he's oh, just 0 for 4. 4. I'm sorry. It made it sound worse than it really was. There's a long three, a long off the. Uh, the backboard. Surreal Garrett dribbles the ball up the floor. High post to go to Manahan. He'll back it out. Kick out. Stands. These, uh, Williams the three. No good. Rebound to Peyton Reed. Good passing by Lubakai right there. And Bakta pays it off. That's an excellent job of getting the ball where it needed to be. Really was. Ty Green lobs it over to Manahan, blocked him from behind by Sid Bakta. Stay with Coronado. 6-10 to go in the game. Good job from Bakta coming over from the backside, help side defense, and knocking that ball out of bounds with block shot. There's Ty Green. He'll pull up and shoot a three. No good. Rebound Garrett. No, fall away one-hander on the baseline. No good. Driving inside. Tyler Williams is there. Bach is there. Great job. Rebound and put back. Good read by Botka that time, seeing that Williams came over and got that block, and then he did a good job of just finding the ball and getting it in over, over Williams. Ty Green inside, missed the first one, got his rebound, and then blocked from behind by Bakta. Peyton Reed for three, no good. Rebound, Torres for Lubaka. Vasquez, good pump fake, shot it too strong. Can't control it. Kick out Gilmore for three, he hit it. 15 points for Grant Gilmore. Torres blocked by Manahan. Save back in bounds underneath the Vasquez. He'll put it up and in. This is what you don't want to see. Uh, Tyler Williams down here injured on the baseline. And it's just one of those deals. I don't know if he got an ankle or up in the knee, but just stepping wrong down there on the baseline, pursuing that loose ball. We're going to take the timeout. Well, he is up and limping, but, Coach, you know, with the game out of reach, you're exactly right. We'll get to watch it here. See what happens right here. I think he just uh, came down wrong. Yep. Probably a little bit of an ankle, but he's... Walking under his own power now. It did not look like he stepped on anybody's foot and really rolled the ankle. So I think probably just uh, uh, it's just a little misstep. Hopefully, hopefully he's going to be all right and he may be finished for the night for sure. Yeah, you know, the trainers tried to get him to go back and look at it, but he just said, "No, I'll sit here on the bench."
Keith Ramirez back in the ball game. He's pressuring. Full court press now for Lubbockai. 450 to go in the ball game. They get it into Cam Manahan. He took it in there deep <laughs> and powered it up. He's got nine points. Real strong move right there. He had to go up through some contact and able to muscle it up over the rim. Ball's lost off the hands of uh, Torres. It goes out of bounds. It'll be Coronado basketball. Manahan's going out. Ragland's coming in. Gilmore's going out. And Ty Green's going out. See Gilmore right here getting after Torres up there on the top and forcing that turnover. And inside, tried to go to Stamps through his hands, and Lubakai's got it. Long pass to Torres. He'll put it up and in. Nice job by Jacob Aguirre. Head up, seeing his teammate out ahead of the pack, and uh, gave him a nice pass where he could score the ball. The stamps for three, no good. So real Garrett gets it, no good. Raglan underneath, he'll put it back up and in. Raglan's having a nice night tonight. Doing a good job for the Mustangs off of the bench. Seven points now. 62-38. Motion offense now for Lubakai. Well, going to be a travel first on a Gary. Timeout on the floor. 3.31 to go. 62-28. to Coronado on top of Lubakai on Fox 34 News now. Sixty-two, thirty-eight. We need to add a two to ours. Coronado on top. Raglan with it. Pump fake inside. Blocked out of bounds and a foul going to be called. Nice execution by the Mustangs right there, running their offense and swing offense, a couple of ball reversals, eventually get the cutter, which in this case is Raglan down there to the baseline, low box. Good feed to him and uh, draws a foul. Boy, you're coming back in. For Lubbockai, number 10. Also back in, Bryson Covado. He's number four. Well, he missed them both. Rebound tipped around. Lubakai's got it. Knocked away. I got it. You got it. Coronado does. Now it's taken away. <laughs> Again, by Covado. Okay, who didn't get the dribble? <laughs> Y'all line up over here. Gary up top, Lubakai working the ball. Ramirez on the baseline. Has it tipped and taken away by Stamps. There's a three by Garrett. Off the back of the rim, no good. Rebound to Lubakai. Inside. That one uh, stolen by Christian Thompson. He'll go all the way and lay it up with the left hand. Coast to coast. Nice job, Christian Thompson right there, scoring the ball, wrong foot layup. Gets it to go in. Keith Ramirez for three, won't go. Rebound to Davis. 
64-28. Drive in, drop down to Garrett. Skip over to Davis. Three ball up. Off the rim. Got the roll. Everybody seemed excited about Russell Davis. It's his first points, maybe his first three of the year. Here's Vasquez for three. Long on that one. Stamps, he'll take it all the way in, lay it up and in. Good decision by Stamps in the open floor right there. Defense never committed over to him, so he just kept going and good fundamental left-handed layup. Seven points for Stamps now. Tyler Williams. Who made that three? Uh, Vasquez, 15, Vasquez. All right, good job, Vasquez. Which Gibbs called a timeout just to get some substitutions into the game. And, That's know, nine points for Vasquez. On. 10 for Bakta on the night. 11 for Derek Torres. I think he'll lead the scorers for Lubbock High. 20 points for Tyler Williams. He got, uh, he had 18 at halftime. Saw more limited action in the second half. There's Raglan dribbling. Finally lost it. If you'll dribble long enough, you'll eventually lose it. <laughs> also in the game now, Harley Rojas. Well, I hadn't seen Harley without his football uniform on. We called many a game with Harley Rojas as a receiver for Love of Kai. Yeah, that was backcourt, but play on. 30 seconds to go. Ramirez with it. Stolen. Knocked away, almost stolen back. Stamps to the basket. He'll lay it up and in again. Stamps now with 10. Quick steal in the backcourt by Abraham Ragland. 71-31. They're just going to hold it and let it run, run out, I think. That's what they'll do. That's going to be the final score. 71-31. Coronado beats Lubbock High here tonight in a big district 4-5A ball game. Two teams come together to shake hands. And the coaches, and uh, what do you think, Coach? Well, Coronado did what they needed to do, come in here and get a district win, and uh, we, were, you know, we said the teams were going to play hard. They did that. A lot of effort. Wasn't always all that shiny, but uh, Coronado gets the big win. Lubbock High still continues to look for that first uh, district district win, and hopefully they get it soon. Coronado now 5-3 and three in district, and uh, excuse me, 4-2 and two in district, and uh, Lubbock High drops to 0-6. The girls... Coronado Lady Mustangs won that one too, 56 to 51 over Lubbock High. Big win here tonight for the Mustangs and Lady Mustangs. Coach Randy Dean, I'm David Thetford. Thanks everybody for tuning in. You're on Fox 34 News Now. This has been a production of the students and staff at Lubbock ISD TV.